most of you know that our state, I mean California, and my state is now a sanctuary state. Not just a city, not a community, the entire state, meaning that illegal aliens are coming in from around wherever they're coming from, everybody and their mama, and they're getting free stuff, they're being put first, and yet committing major crime. And hopefully we can change this. I have with me Antonio Sabato Jr., and Antonio is a Republican congressional candidate out of California. He's running in the 26th district. That's the Ventura area of uh, a suburb of Los Angeles. And uh, Antonio uh, is a supporter of President Trump, I believe. And I wanted to talk to him since he's running and he is a Republican. Antonio, good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Good morning. I totally appreciate you coming on. What made you decide to run for uh, Congress as a Republican out of California? I love my country. I love the people of this nation. And uh, we have to protect our Constitution and the future of the laws of this nation that are extremely changing every day, thanks to the liberals who are uh, endangering our communities, especially mine in Ventura County. So I'm here to fight for the future of, of our children and our nation. You uh, you came out early in support of President Trump, and right. you also spoke at the GOP convention. How early did you know that Trump was the man, the great white hope was the man for the job? Well, sir, I, uh, from the beginning, from day one, uh, I knew the man. I knew him as a person, and I believed that he was the right man and the only man for the job. And uh, when he finally announced I was the first celebrity to come out and uh, openly uh, back him up, and I've never stopped, and I never will. And you are a celebrity, as you said, and I read that you were blacklisted from Hollywood for right. supporting President Trump. Is that true? That is true. And uh, on, not only that, I think a lot of people in Hollywood cannot speak about their conservative values because of the way they're treated on movie sets. You can't talk about President Trump in a good way. You can't uh, be supporting our president if you're in Hollywood. And that's uh, outrageous that we live in America nowadays in 2018. And we're still talking about communism and socialism. And uh, I'm going to fight for that. We have the right to speak and back up whoever we want. If that's our, that's our choice. Uh, we live in the greatest country in the world with freedom. And uh, they're trying to take that away from us every single day. And I'm going to fight against that. What I don't understand, and I've seen it happen in other areas of life, not just uh, conservative actors, actors in Hollywood, why do conservatives cave in to the intimidation from the liberals? Why in Hollywood and other areas of life, why not stand up right then and just fight back? Because if you fight back, they can't do that to you. That's right. You got to fight back. You got to fight back for, for your integrity and uh, for what you believe. Uh, but I think things have changed. They have too much control, and uh, in, in Hollywood especially, they have a lot of control. So they have control about the way that the casting directors and producers are going to be able to hire you or not. Uh, and if you have, you know, especially with our president, I've never seen so much hate toward a man. And I believe because they can't control this man. This man wants the best for our country. Uh, there's, there's a cloud uh, that is a really dark cloud on the liberal uh, side that uh, is trying to take over the future of our country and decide how we think and what we decide and what is best for our children. And, uh, and at the same time, we take money away from taxpayer money and we yeah. give it to people who are coming here using our country, who are not even here, not even American, who don't even want to learn the language and respect the values of this nation. So I'm going to fight against that and, uh, because I love my nation so much. You were an actor in, in uh, General Hospital and Melrose Place, also a model for Kevin Klein. What made you decide to go into acting? Well, my father was an actor. You know, I'm an immigrant. I came here with my family in 1985 from Italy. Uh, we've been through a lot. We've seen the communist country and uh, the socialist country in Europe. My mother escaped uh, the Russians and the Czech Republic uh, before that. And her family had to uh, escape Auschwitz in World War II. So we, my family and my bloodline has been through a lot. And I don't want to see that happening in our country. So. Um, we have the right to fight for our communities and uh, the people that we live and we're surrounded by. And that's what I'm doing because I love, I love my country. And I, you know, I have three beautiful children that I want to protect their future. And that's what I'm doing this for. You know, I, I, 
your opponent of uh, uh, whom I won't mention here at this time, but your opponent is uh, putting negative things or I think he's putting negative things out there about you. And mm-hmm. I read that you face controversies lately for playing a gay man in a um, couple of risque films yeah. <laughs> about yeah. 10 years ago. Right. And you said you played roles you're not proud of. What made uh-huh. you play uh, a gay man in a risque film 10 years ago? Diff- different reasons. That was a different time in my life. But as actors, we do, we do roles that are, that, are, that are pushing the envelope. You want to you wanna show off uh, your acting ability. You want to test your chops. And, uh, and that's what I do. It. I mean, uh, everybody's done it. Uh, we, we, we don't do every single movie that we're proud of. It's just the, the way it is. But uh, I'm not going to sit here and go, I wish I did this or I did that. I mean, that's part of my career as an actor. I've done a lot of stuff and I'm really proud of. And uh, and also the fact that I came from another country and I succeeded in in, in show business, uh, that to me was was uh, was uh, was incredible. And um, and so I still I'm still in the business. It's just uh, you know they're trying to pull all this stuff against yeah. me because you know when when you're attacked as much as you can see with our president, it means you're doing something right. They're scared of me. Not only my opponent who does not exist because uh, these people uh, we should be back up everybody in our party, but because we have a tough battle, but, you know, even, uh, you know, my opponent uh, who lives in Santa Monica, you know, she's uh, Miss Julia Browley. I call her Miss Santa Monica Julia Browley because she's <laughs> never, she's never been in my county. She's never, she doesn't live here. She doesn't respect our people. She doesn't take the pride to live in the county and, and shake our, our neighbor's hands because she lives somewhere else and she not even part of Congress, really. Nobody even really knows who she is. Yeah. So I'm fighting for that. You know, when, once I get in Congress in November, there's a lot of work to be done. We only have two years to get things done before the next election. So I'm eager to do it. I have the energy and the ability to do it. I'm going to do it for the American people. I can't wait. You know, it's so interesting when I hear people complaining about President Trump's past and now your past. The people mm-hmm. who are complaining are hypocrites. Because I guarantee you, if you look in their past, you'll find some things that you wouldn't necessarily agree with. But that doesn't mean that people are like that all the time. You know, some people change in life and we go through things and we get better from those tough things we had to go through. And I got to tell you, man, at the end of the day, every single day, if I'm attacked about something that I've done or I should have done differently in their opinion, because, you know, they have they have the way of uh, of life, the perfect way to to, to, to do the things. Right. But I say I say one thing. Uh, I was saved by Jesus Christ. I have my I have my hands and my my heart and everything is in is in the hands of God right now. So I have a great relation, a great, great spiritual relationship with the Lord upstairs, and uh, I got no worries because That's you know right. what, you know the first one who has never sinned throw the first stone, right? That's so right. Uh, I have never had a problem in Hollywood in almost thirty years, and all of a sudden now I do because I'm <laughs> running for Congress. It's not going to work. I'm not. Uh, I'm not that way. I'm, I'm a fighter. I'm going to fight for the American people, no matter what. You once suggested, I read that the former president, the Great White Hope, who mm-hmm. is going down in history as the worst president that this country has ever experienced, President Obama. You said that he was a Muslim, or suggested he was a Muslim. Have you seen any other politician call Islam an important part of American history? while saying that Southerners cling to their guns and Bibles. That was amazing that Obama said that while upholding well, Islam. Well, I don't understand one thing. When I brought up the fact that, uh, that our last president, Obama, was was uh, a Muslim and his name is a Muslim and he was raised as a Muslim, what is wrong with that? That's right. If I call him a Muslim, what is, what is wrong with him calling him a Muslim? Everybody knows he is. Uh, you should be proud of it and not hide it. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> The thing is, I'm a proud Christian. I believe in God, and so for me, that's first and foremost. Uh, but that, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and 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 talk about what the president, President Obama, did or didn't do. My my care right now is the future of what's going on right now. That's right. And we have a president who's changed a lot of things. Has done so many great things for our country in about a year. Look how many things he's done. So we have to support that. Uh, our country's doing better. I mean, look at the stock market today. Another high. Uh, companies are coming here, the tax cut. We have a lot of things that we need to do still, but uh, I got to give this man so much credit. He's a businessman, the art of the deal. Uh, I just saw him last weekend. I support the man. He's not racist. His family's not racist. I'm not racist. You know who's racist? 
the liberal media is racist, who always brings this card, the race card, all the time because that's all they have. Uh, so I got to tell you, we got to fight because there's some serious people out there who want the worst for this country. And uh, we got to stick and vote for people like myself who love America, who love those stars, who love this country so much. So go to VoteAntonio.com and donate to my campaign so we can win this and get everything and get our district red again, but not only for my district, for the rest of the country. Uh, so uh, I'm excited and I'm really thrilled that I have a huge following and uh, we're going to win this. I wish you well. <coughs> One Thank final you. question. Back in 2014, in Sacramento, a Mexican illegal alien killed two cops. And just the other day in the court, he was smiling about it, uh, cursing and wishing he had killed more. Have, have you, you know, are you familiar with this story? I am familiar with the story and with so many other ones, and uh, they're letting this happen. They're endangering our communities, yeah. and not only by allowing Ill illegal immigrants to come here and use us uh, and benefit in these, uh, you know, sanctuary cities, but also we're dealing with the fact that uh, we're not taking care of our veterans. We're not taking care yeah. of our, our people who are here suffering. California is spending $23 billion on immigration every year. We have the highest homeless in the entire country. Antonio, Jobs have left. what's I your mean, website? It's incredible. We can't yeah. allow that to happen anymore. Antonio, what's your website? Give it out real fast. Uh, VoteAntonio.com. Antonio, I wish you well. We'll have you back. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.